last year on 10th of October 2019, there's a place uh, in Karachi uh, named Korangi and Huma Yunus was living there. She was around 13 to 14 years old. And a Muslim man, Abdul Jabbar, he actually kidnapped her, abducted her, and raped her. When, sadly, when her parents, uh, has, her father name was Yunus and her mother name was Nagina Masi, went to a police station in Korangi to file a complaint against Abdul Jabbar. When they brought their uh, daughter's birth certificate and baptism certificate as well, uh, and showed them the age of the girl and that she was abducted. There wasn't a positive response from the police because they were not com filing her complaint. In Pakistan, the when a Christian girl is being raped or abducted, there is no specific law to find a justice. I mean, the government has designed the laws, but the people, they are not helpful. So what happened? In, and there is a... Uh, Beside you follow law in Sindh, the Sindh is one of the province of Pakistan, which has feudalism system. They do not uh, obey the country's law, but they have their own bribery systems and their own feudalism system. So the uh, what happened is when the parents they actually uh, went to police station, they were discouraged from filing the complaint and the police they actually told them instead of helping them that you cannot win the case and they said because the um, Abdul Jabbar the rapist he is he belongs to a high five family and uh, that uh, the feudalism system they won't uh, allow the police to file a complaint against him Unfortunately, the parents weren't there to help them. And what happened? Meanwhile, Abdul Jabbar took Huma to a, a new place that was a Dera Ghazi Khan, uh, quite far place from uh, this Korangi where Huma was living. And then he for, uh, continuously raping her and then he forced her to marry him and then convert to Islam. The re and then what happened is they, they made the f and Abdul Jabbar he actually threatened his father, uh, her father as well, that if you're gonna f uh, come file a complaint against me, I'm gonna, you know, put a law of blasphemy against you. The rapist, you know, offered them that I'm gonna pay you this much amount or like that, just leave this case. But the parents were, of course, they lost their daughter. They want, uh, they were not at calm place they wanted to file the complaint and what this Jabbar did he returned to Karachi and registered a city uh, from a city court of Karachi that Huma intentionally married him and that Huma is 18 years old beside that Nadra Nadra is an organization in Pakistan which have all the uh, birth certificates and data of citizens of Pakistan. Beside that, they have the birth certificate to Huma, claiming that she is around 13 to 14 years old. The, you know, the fake document still was issued that Huma is 18 years old. And in Pakistan, if you are an 18 years old girl or boy, you can marry to anyone intentionally. So she was forced to convert to Islam, forced to, uh, and against her will, she married to him. And then uh, what happened is the kidnapper not only issued that fake document, he was, you know, released on bail as well. Just before he was arrested, he was released on bail. And then to counter attack, I mean, the police, uh, the officials and the police, they were continuously uh, uh, torturing uh, the parents as well to please there is no you won't get anything so just you know stay away from this case or like that and and they were just uh, pushed back they were threatened every day like for the blasphemy and then certain other issues so fortunately Huma's parent uh, I must say got an angel in uh, last year and she was a Catholic woman and she uh, her name is Tabassum lawyer who used to actually, who dealt with so many and uh, several cases of young girls who actually rape and then they defend yeah. themselves and the Christian girls uh, who uh, she actually fought for justice for them. 
so huma uh, parents because they received a support from the lawyer and yes the one thing before they received a support from uh, this lady tabassum they were signed a fake document because they were illiterate they could not read or write anything the police gave them a, a, a double jabar and police they intentionally help them to sign a document that uh, okay they are uh, taking back their case and then it was written on the document that abdul jabbar is innocent huma uh, herself left the home and married to abdul jabbar and that she is 18 years old and uh, they, they, this was written on the documents but they told uh, the parents because they won't be uh, they uh, they weren't, weren't able to read and write they said they, it's it's the document just states that uh, they are taking their case back and they she'll get uh, they'll get their daughter back safely and that uh, double jabar won't do anything or like that so parents actually sadly signed that document beside that that was not written on the on that so uh, there and then the this lady tabassum yusuf actually came and then she fought the case for uh huma but uh, i i actually don't have the much details for this but sadly there is no justice for huma because and the mental torture she actually faced had no solution and this is not the story of huma only there are a lot of girls who are being raped on daily basis who are being abducted unfortunately christians are working at the low level in pakistan a christian girl maybe has to work as a maid at muslim's place and then the owner rape her and then certain daily we used to hear a lot of such cases of christian girls forced to convert to islam abducted and raped the only difference is it's not about that christian girls are being raped there are lot of muslim children also being raped but when a muslim girl is raped there is a justice the whole social media the uh, you know judiciary and everything they want justice but when a christian girl like huma is suffering or any other christian girl is suffering there is no justice and because of this feudalism uh, on these backward areas we we cannot you know even fight for ourselves thank you so much god bless you